Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family Channel. Today, a very short update, of course, amazing charts, a trading tip, a travel tip, yes, some other things, and maybe ask a, answering a question of one of the followers. Uh, it was a really late night, pretty early morning, so uh, not gonna make it too long today, but enjoy the complete video, and there will, of course, always be a beautiful message in it. Enjoy it, bam! This is the first chart guys, this is the one day chart, I'm not going to zoom in in the 4 hour, you could use these indicators, the bam bam indicator that you see in the screen also on the uh, 1 hour or the 4 hour or the 15 minute guys, I'm looking at the one day chart, why? Because I see this green line over there, and that is a 21 weekly moving average, the green line, and we found resistance now 2 times at the 21 weekly moving average guys, it's a day chart, but that line, the green line is a weekly moving average chart uh, line, so we found resistance again we are coming down again uh, we could fall all the way to that bottom there in the blue uh, area over there that's 25,500 and from there again you know we could go uh, bullish again and make a long again for the short-term traders out there if you take a long or you took the short I would exit the short around that blue area and if you are taking a long from that moment I would exit again near or take at least a little bit profit near that green line because that seems to be the resistance at the moment and when we break that then that yellow line comes in play now that's the short term guys this is a very cool chart guys this is the Bitcoin number of addresses holding 10 plus coins so we made a new all-time high when it comes to 10 plus Bitcoin addresses we now have 100 57,629 addresses that hold more than 10 bitcoins so yes you might think that you with one bitcoin or two bitcoins uh, that you're a little fish in the pond but you aren't there is not that many people holding 10 plus bitcoins it's only 160k people so yes we are still very early there's also what you see on this chart the btc amount of hold of or lost coins again a new all-time high we have now 7,889,599.912 Bitcoins that are held or are lost. So there's a shitload of Bitcoins that people are holding at the moment, you know? They are not like putting it in exchanges and trading all of stuff. They are just hodling their Bitcoins. That's almost 8 million Bitcoins. That's like it will become very difficult for all those institutionals to buy the Bitcoins. Yeah, they could buy, for example, at Coinbase. I will talk about that as well but you know uh, who is selling who is selling in the bear market i'm not selling in the bear market i'm not selling in the pre-bull run i'm not selling anything before the halving and then from the halving let's see where this new all-time high will be created in 2024 and maybe this new bull market top in 2025 and then people start to sell so it will become very difficult for people to buy bitcoins as more and more people are holding their coins almost now 8 million bitcoins being held guys let's jump into the next part hope you really enjoyed these charts guys yes the charts are very simple they are showing us that uh, bitcoin is in a sideways movement at the moment but there will be a moment again that it will become like beautifully pumps or dumps whatever you uh, prefer but bitcoin will start to move again. we are not gonna see bitcoin go sideways forever guys it's just always in this period just before the halving um, we are now trying to get the weak hands out and the strong hands are buying those bitcoins that's what you see in the charts more people are huddling more people are making new all-time highs when it comes to bitcoins that don't move so yes be aware uh, don't be fooled there will be a bull market you should be buying bitcoin let's go into the trading tip Bam. one of the trading tips i want to give you guys is something i've been doing already since 2017 i always put low buy orders in the order book so i always have these buy orders like a few k to even sometimes like 20k down below um, to catch these crashes when they happen we are at 26 27 you can put a buy order at 24 and at 22 and if we have a flash crash in the evening you will be buying bitcoin very cheap probably already pumped when you wake up and you made some profits over there so i'm always playing that game if i have liquidity in my uh, in my account i will use it to put some buy orders in there and the morning i wake up after and i uh, will sometimes delete them as well but you never know you know when bitcoin is going sideways something is going to happen and you should be anticipating instead of uh, reacting so you anticipate 
a flash crash or a flash bump you can also put in sell orders if you want to sell at certain pumps so try to sometimes anticipate on trades instead of reacting to trades Bam. and guys yes the telegram group is open so if you want to follow all the trades that we are doing yes there will some be some trades that we make a loss but the bigger winners will be there as well um, then just sign up to the telegram group you can join it for free if you're a bitcoin family member or a vip member or if you ever signed up using my bible link uh, to telegram or you use a new link now there you get free access to this group and you can check how we trade which trades we take only bitcoin usdt pair guys but you can see exactly maybe six seven trades a month but that's the trades that i'm taking uh, and the team is taking so if you want to join that then do sign up using the link down below that video Bam. the news for today guys is about coinbase like everybody is like freaking out coinbase has a million bitcoins in their wallets yes they have a million bitcoins which is worth like almost 25 billion dollar but they don't own those bitcoins they only own 10,000 of those bitcoins they only own like 200 million dollar worth of bitcoin the rest of the bitcoins in their wallets is owned by the clients so it's not strange that the biggest exchange out there in the world holds a shitload of bitcoins yes they hold five percent of the total bitcoin supply but that is again held by all those people out there of course i prefer those people that they hold bitcoins in their cold storage like hardware wallets or any other thing instead of the centralized exchange but a lot of people feel safe with centralized exchanges and so they hold a shitload of bitcoins at those exchanges and that is why those wallets at coinbase are filled with bitcoins the total amount of bitcoins in the coinbase wallets is around the 100 million but the 10,000 is owned by coinbase itself which still is 200 million dollar it's a nice capital for a company bam in the last seven years man I, I i met so many people also now again in singapore so many inspirational people and the thing that every time comes back to me is that like it seems that successful people always make the decisions on where they want to be in the future most people that are unsuccessful are making their decisions on where they are at the moment so if you take your decisions because you're here at a certain point in life or a certain moment or a certain place that will never play out as good if you take decisions based on where you want to be in the future so the successful people look ahead visionary people they base the decisions they make today on where they want to be in the future very important tip when it comes to life guys bam then there again was a question by one of the followers guys this time there was a question about the social skills of my children because they don't go to schools um, how do they stay uh, socially in contact with other kids now, okay we still travel but it's like slow traveling we stay like a couple of months in portugal a couple of months in mexico a couple of months in thailand and in those places we've been coming there now for a couple of years they build up friendships as well so in phuket they have a group of international friends that go to international schools when we go there they hook up they go and they party you know beginning when the kids were younger it was a little bit more easy because there's a lot of families traveling all over the world with young kids and then those kids get in the age from 12 to 16 and that part of the uh, age category a lot of families stop traveling because then the kids do want to go to school or they do need to go to school from their parents again you know they were like you know unschooling but then they became schooling again uh, so you see uh, less families traveling with that age of kids like 12 to 16 and that's why you, you can't find many contacts but it's the same if you are living in Venlo or any other town in the world uh, that puber period they tend to hang at their bedrooms and sing and music and makeup and all that stuff they are not completely out every day like it's all over the world so that is also when you travel but when you travel you can go to the beach and you can meet other people that think different about life as well so push the kids a little bit more out so i think it's not that bad and then when they are 16 and up that is the age they are able to go to bars and uh, you know discos and all that stuff and that's where they meet all the other puber kids again and then that's also here in Albufeira, they have party every weekend and that's in Phuket and that's all over the world. They connect by going to bars, just like you and me connected by going to bars when we were younger. Now we do it through social media, which they of course also have, like they have Snapchat, they have like TikTok, they have all these platforms that they can connect to people all over the world. And when they go to these places in the world, they can also physically contact. 
and that's really beautiful that's what i saw happening now with jolie yes of course she knew all the people online but when we went to singapore and she got to meet the people she was connecting like this because there is already a history there is already chats and now bam you see each other and it's fun so that's the normal thing how we solve it and it's not better it's not worse than the normal families how they live but it's just it's different and i like to be different that was everything for today guys i hope you really enjoyed today's video if you did enjoy the video give it a thumbs up share with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and le let me know down below in the comments what can i do to these ice after a night of drinking <laughs> thank you for watching see you tomorrow again bam